Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mac if you're new here and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up an Etsy print on demand store. I'm going to show you the step by step process, everything that you're going to need and today we are going to be using the print provider Printify. So I'm going to show you how to list products on Printify's website right onto your very own Etsy shop. They're going to print the products for you as soon as you get an order and send it directly to your customer so you get to keep the profit in between while running your shop all from home. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. I post weekly videos about side hustles, print on demand, and different ways to make money online. And I talk a lot about Etsy, print on demand, and digital downloads. So if that interests you, make sure to join the community here on YouTube. So I do want to talk a little bit about Printify and what it is. So Printify is the print provider that we're going to be using in this video. So essentially, if you are brand new, what they're going to do is anytime you receive an order on your shop, Printify is going to have a print provider create that product and send it directly to your customer and it's going to have a shipping label that says it came from your store so your customer is not going to know that these items were not produced by you or a small business they're actually just going to see that it's coming from your store when it's actually coming from a print provider such as Printify so this is essentially passive income because all you are going to have to be doing is uploading products onto your Etsy store overseeing to make sure that orders go in okay and taking care of any customer service related things on your Etsy shop but this is a source of passive income because anytime those orders come in it's just going to automatically send to Printify as long as you do it correctly and I'm here to make sure that you do. The very first thing that you need to do is create your Etsy shop. Now you can do this very easily through the Etsy website. It will also link a link in the description here so you can get your first 40 listings listed on Etsy for free when you open your shop and that's a direct link to actually start your store. You can still go ahead and just create this and come back to it and make changes later. So even if you're like not super ready to start your store, don't let that stop you still create it and you can always come back to it and change the name create your brand and do all of that but the very first thing is to obviously create that Etsy shop you also are going to need a Printify account so on Printify here it's really easy to set up the account on Printify here once you have selected to create an account you're gonna go ahead and fill out your email and create a password so it's gonna ask you some questions here um, it's gonna ask you what exactly you're signing up for and all of that so you just go through and fill out the prompts according to what what you are doing with your Etsy store and what you're going to be using Printify for. Go ahead and continue filling out the prompts and then it's going to ask what you would like to do. So because we are brand new to this, we are going to select create your online store. Now it's going to bring you directly to the screen where you are going to integrate that Etsy shop you just created. That's why it's most important to do that Etsy shop first because in order to create the Printify store and integrate it properly, your Etsy store needs to be set up first. So once you're on this page here, you're going to go ahead and click connect and it's going to bring you a link to sign up to whatever shop you have. If you did have another store that you wanted to integrate with Printify, you could do that here. It's going to log you in to Etsy from Printify's website. So it's going to change your tab and show that you are on Etsy now. And it's going to let you know that this is the access they're going to have with your account. But again, this is just so things can be done automatically. So they're not gonna like go in and change anything, but um, it can update like variants and sizes, let you know when things are sold out. Once you hit grant access, it's going to bring you over back to Printify and your store is now synced. I can see here that Printify is integrated with Etsy. So we're gonna be able to put products from Printify right onto our Etsy store. And we can do that all from Printify's website. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to actually upload a product onto here. So we're just gonna scroll down and you can see that they'll show you what the best sellers are and you should spend a lot of time picking what products you want to sell. I'm just going to show you for the sake of this video something quick but you should take your time when doing this and actually creating the products that you want to create. Obviously trend research and all of that. I will link some helpful videos on my channel below if you are new. I'm going to choose a phone case so I'm going to go to accessories and see what kind of phone case options they have. So there are quite a few options on here. Some of them are on sale. It is depending on your profit margins as well. You do want to do a deep dive into that. Printify's prices are really great. So that's not something that is so, so to be concerned about, but it is something that you want to look at again with this. But I'm gonna go down and they do have some of these cases on sale. Um, so this is just a case mate, the tough one or slim. So the slim one is 1077. So I'm gonna select that one because I know that it's a case mate, so it's a good quality and the price is pretty good. So this is with spoke custom products. So now sometimes on Printify, when you select 
a item and I'm just going to show you really quickly with a different item like a t-shirt. Sometimes when you select items on Printify, they are going to give you multiple options for print providers. So as you can see on the screen here, there is multiple options. So what this means is Printify is sourcing a bunch of different print providers that are located in the States, other countries, and it's going to show you where they're going to be printing your products and sending them to the customer. It's also going to give you ratings and a lot of the different print providers provide different variants. So you want to see what you're trying to sell here. So if you were selling a t-shirt, I would personally go with one of the brands that has the lowest price, that has a um, lot of options for colors, and that is going to have a good rating. So as you can see, some of these are in Canada. So it all just depends on you and your location and again, what kind of variants you're trying to sell for those products. But back to the phone case so I can show you exactly how to upload it. So then we're gonna just go ahead and select the start designing button once we choose which provider we want to work with. So once you get to this screen, this is where you would upload your design onto the blank white label product. So it's going to give you options of doing custom text or to input it from other websites here. So this is a design that I created in Canva the other day. So I'm just uploading this right to the phone case itself. And Printify is going to tell you if your image is high quality or if it's not. So always please, please, please pay attention to that there. And if it's says to you that your image is not good quality, make sure that you change the file size of your image because you do not want a customer to receive something that is not good quality. They will complain. They will leave you a bad review. So always make sure that your designs are the proper size for whatever it is you're uploading the product onto. If you scroll down here, it will tell you the exact print area and that the file does need to be 300 dpi. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this is lined up the exact way that I want it to. And obviously it's gonna show to what part of the image is gonna be cut off by where the phone case is. So something to keep in mind too, if you're actually creating your design, you could block that out. So up here, there's gonna be an option that says models. Now, if you push this drop down, it's gonna show you all the different phone cases that you can offer in your store. So you will have to size your file image accordingly to each variant to make sure it's going to print correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the most popular iPhones right now and then go through and make sure that they all look good because as you can see, the image is changing very, very slightly, but it is changing for each one that we select. If you don't double check it, it will print a little funny. And then you're like, wait, what happened? I did it correctly but you forgot to change all of your variants. So once you click on the product, it'll give you an option here to select the mock-ups, to add your title and description, and to choose all of your pricing and stuff. So this is all gonna show up when you're editing it on Printify, and then once you edit it here and hit publish, once you go over to Etsy, all of it will be already there for you. I went ahead and just created a title and description based on the product that I'm selling. I used some keywords, did a little bit of trend research, and then for the description here, I did get a lot of this information from the actual product on Printify itself. So you can check out what it says in the description for the product you choose. So I am making a note in the description that the production can be up to seven business days. It is most likely going to be shipped out sooner than this, but I always like to let customers be surprised when the item comes early rather than promise an item sooner than it may actually deliver because that can result in a bad review. But once you have that done, I'm gonna scroll down to pricing here. Now this is gonna show you the profit margins from your for your products and this is something to keep in mind here before we do shipping. So all of this here is not including our shipping price. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is just hit select all and then hit edit price. And then this is how I could change my price or the profit that I wanna make on the item. The item cost before shipping here is showing it is 1077 for the cheapest one. I'm gonna go ahead and just make these 1999 and see what it looks like. So here it's showing the phone case as 1999. We're making around a seven to $9 profit depending on what phone case they're buying. Um, and then with the shipping, I would actually charge them for shipping. But in the case that you want to offer free shipping, which will help your Etsy listings, you would just want to boost the price of the actual item to hide the shipping cost in there. It's all up to you and how you want to actually price your own item. And under store details, there's gonna be an option for hide in store. That's basically once you upload it that it's not gonna be ready to purchase yet. It's just gonna um, go to your drafts or inactive listings. So I am gonna go ahead and select that. And I'm gonna make sure that only show stock variants and out of stock variants are not going to be able to be on the store here. So it's already the one that's selected, but basically this just means it's not gonna let customers purchase things that are out of stock at your suppliers. Printify is gonna do that automatically. Like if something goes out of stock, um, your customer won't be able to purchase it because that's a big issue. It's happened to me before that somebody paid for something that you can't deliver. So
so I always like to make sure that that is selected. Down here for shipping profile, I'm gonna select create my own shipping profile, and then what I would do with this is I would go back and see what the actual shipping time and cost is from the exact provider and kind of balance my pricing out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish because this listing is ready to go, and it should take like a few minutes to actually get into your Etsy store, but it will be done automatically. I jumped right back over to Etsy here, and I have the store that I integrated here, and I found this listing in my draft section. Now, the listing will either go to your draft section or your inactive listings because we selected hide from store. If we didn't select that, it would just show up ready to be bought on our store. Everything that I did on Printify imported over here. So the title imported, the photos imported, and the description as well. You are gonna wanna go through and fill out this entire Etsy listing here. You are gonna wanna select that it is a finished product that's made to order. You wanna make sure you select made to order so that customers can see they're made to order. Then for the renewal options, I always hit manual. And here we're gonna see physical or digital products. So it is a physical product that is going to ship. So it's gonna let us know that we need a shipping profile as well. So we are gonna make sure that is selected. And then here's our description that we created again in Printify. And then here we have the production partner. Now mine already has it here because this shop is just like a shop I use for tutorials, but this will not be here for you. So you will have to add your print provider um, or production partner to let customers know that you are working with a print provider. It is important to do, so I do recommend actually taking the time to do it here. I've gone ahead and filled out the production partner according to what Printify is helping me in the role. Um, I, you can get the location for your print provider on the actual site as well. Um, I just selected California because they do have a headquarters there. And then you can also just type in a quick description of what Printify does for you because your customers will be able to see that. And then you can scroll down and just select the options that apply. Then we just save the partner. Now you will be able to select that um, available here for the listing so people will be able to see that. And if you keep scrolling down here, this is where you would add in your tags again with SEO and doing your trend research for what is already selling and keywords. But now it's shipping profile. So as it shows up here is what the print provider is charging as the original price that I was talking about. So it's showing the zip code of the print provider that we've selected, what the processing time is, and what the actual delivery time and cost is. So it's $450 to ship the item and then an additional item is $150. Again, you want to price this out accordingly to what you're pricing your products at, but this is going to be how much the customer pays for shipping and then it'll automatically just pay for that whole order. So once you hit publish, your listing will be ready to be purchased by anyone and everyone on Etsy. As you can see, it's a super simple process to actually create those items on Printify and upload them onto your store. There's so many different items that you can see to sell on Printify, so I definitely recommend checking them out. And I will leave a link for you in the description below to go ahead and sign up with Printify. I really hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please be sure to leave a like and comment any questions that you may have. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are not already so you don't miss out on any future videos.